Good morning. We are out here in suburbia. We are on that clearing job that we started a couple weeks ago where we started to burn and then it just got too muddy so we pulled out. So we are back on it today. Got the Kubota. Got a forestry head that we rented. I want to see how this thing does with a forestry mulcher. So we're going to mulch up the piles that we piled up and then go around the edges of the clearing and clean things up, grind down some stumps and uh, hopefully it goes smoothly. Um, it's 15 degrees today so it's been that way for two or three days so the ground should be decently hard so we don't make a huge muddy mess. The only reason there's mud up there is because there's a spring in the ground that we're going to have to take care of in the springtime but for now we're just going to deal with it so i brought the bucket so once we're all done maybe i can go through and put a little ditch in and back drag everything nicely so we'll get this thing chained unchained and uh see how it goes Just got home, it's 
about five o'clock. We got to the job site about nine this morning. So we put about six and a half hours of machine time on today working with the mulcher. And I'll be honest, my opinion of this machine changed quite a bit. I do not like it for grading, but running this mulcher, it's a different story. It's got tons of power. I'm not getting the shit rattled out of me because I'm not doing a lot of moving, you know, quickly. So today was kind of a different job because I mulched piles that I made because the original plan was to burn. So today it was just a lot of, you know, well you saw it in the video, until the pile's gone. So, but, and <laughs> I wouldn't have believed this if somebody told me, but that cab is quieter than the 259 was. There wasn't a chance in hell that I would hear the radio in that 259 unless it was cranked all the way up. And on this, I was able to run the mulcher, listen to my hydraulics, <clears throat> because this particular head doesn't have a gauge to see what the um, hydraulic flow is doing. Um, and like, it was just nice. So I was very happy with it today. Um, six and a half hours, I used about three quarters of a tank of fuel. So I guess that's 18, 19 gallons. So obviously it's thirsty running full bore all the time. But before tomorrow's job, I'm gonna replace some of these teeth. This drum will turn. There we go. So I tried I tried sharpening the teeth on a couple rocks that I found. It didn't seem to work that well. So I'm gonna rotate these. Just, uh, these are four sided. So I'm gonna spin these around after dinner and grease it. Clean it up a little bit. Tomorrow's job I do not believe is going to be muddy. I got these tracks pretty clean before I put it on the trailer. So, and after 40 hours and the DEF gauge never moving, it dropped to like two thirds of a tank today. So, I guess when I get back from dinner, I'll swap the teeth around, grease it, grease the machine again. I'll top it off with fuel when we get to the job tomorrow. I'll top it off with DEF tonight. Uh, I backed into a pine tree today and I was scared to look at this back panel afterwards, but it looks like it hit on the bumper like it was supposed to. A company makes a one inch thick bumper that bolts on to where your chains go and gives you a pretty wide berth. Um, they want 800 and something dollars for it. I'm just going to order a piece of one inch plate and put it on myself. I may even just weld it on. But I've got to put new holes in for the chains. Which I might have to do with an acetylene torch because my uh, plasma torch is not going to do one inch plate. So, anyway, enough rambling. 